6 o'clock in the morning, and light barely filters through the canopy of this tropical rainforest on Barro, Colorado Island in Panama. But neither insects, the lack of light, nor the intense humidity deter these scientists. They are looking for monkeys. Anthropology professor Stephanie Ramirez studies spider monkeys. I'm interested in is how fruit affects their reproductive potential. Because spider monkeys mostly consume fruit, um, we've noticed that during times when fruit is not abundant or available, they can't conceive. There are 1,800 monkeys here on the island. 39 of them are spider monkeys. Eight of these have radio collars placed around their necks. Ramirez and her assistant, Lorraine Mills, can locate the animals by picking up their signal with a radio receiver. The two researchers are only a small contingent. About a thousand scientists come here every year for field studies. Tony Coates is a scientist emeritus with the Institute. The Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute here in Panama is something of a mecca for all biologists in the world who are interested in the tropics and in tropical biology. The Institute was established in Panama a hundred years ago. Today, Barro Colorado is the most studied rainforest in the world. Abby Browning came from South Dakota to study ants. We manipulate their diets. They, so either they'll be at a high carbohydrate or a high protein diet. And at the end we'll run analysis to see how well they fight off infection, death rates and things like that. Browning studies one of about 200 species of ants here. Those pink flower trees on the forest canopy are Diptexi panamensis, better known as almendro. These working ants love the flowers and are taking them home, one petal at a time. This is an Azteca ant colony. It takes them more than a year to build this structure. They are the favorite meal of ant eaters. Smithsonian scientists estimate that there are about a hundred species of mammals on this tiny island. More than half of them are bats. There are 71 species of reptiles and about 30 million insect species. Again, Tony Coates. The vast majority of all species of plants and animals live in the tropics. The vast majority of all the technical know-how, political will, education and financing is in the temperate world. H how to get those two realms together is, is one of the great issues facing global um, conservation. The Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute is headquartered in Panama City. Its library, with 70,000 volumes on tropical biology, is regarded by scientists as one of the best in the world. It follows the same system as the Library of Congress. Nearby, Culebra, a major Smithsonian educational center, is open to the public. 100,000 people, mostly Panamanian school children, visit this center each year. It is our biggest educational contribution to, to our host country, Panama. As the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama prepares for its centennial, it is also getting ready to launch new research facilities in the town of Gamboa. Private donors want STRI to examine subjects of growing concern today, such as the forest's ability to control erosion and to capture carbon from the air, and ways to restore and preserve one of the richest and most important ecosystems on the planet. From Panama, this is Sulima Palacio, VOA News. And these dendrometer bands grow as the tree grows and it allows us to make much more precise tree growth measurements.